Basketball in the D.C., Maryland, and Virginia area, also known as the DMV, has a very rich history. Going back through the years, you see that many former greats have their roots to the DMV. Players such as Grant Hill, Adrian Dantley, Kenny Carr, Adrian Branch, Moochie Norris, Steve Francis, as well as a new crop of players who are flourishing in the NBA today, such as Kevin Durant, Victor Oladipo, Ty Lawson, Rudy Gay, Grievous Vasquez, Roy Hibbert, and Jeff Green all hail from this area. For many of these players, AAU basketball is what paved the way for the success that they are now enjoying. And recently, DMV Elite held its first annual Super Team Showcase, which pitted the top AAU programs and their respective teams, aged 14U to 17U, up against each other for a two-game showcase. The first day of the showcase displayed a lot of talent, and kicking off the event was the eighth-grade matchup between the six-man Warriors and Baltimore's finest. The six-man Warriors competed, but Baltimore's finest ultimately came away with the victory led by Demetrius Mims. I mean, definitely it's um, for exposure for a lot, of, uh, a lot of the youth in our area. We get to come and play some uh, good talent. And, um, you know, dealing with, you know, I've dealt with our DMV elite with a lot of my uh, other age groups. So it's great for the, uh, for the youth, you know, to bring a lot of talent in one tournament. You know, they can see, you know, where they, where they stand for, the, for their time to come for the um, high school season. Second game of the day, Team Takeover matched up against the Slammer Jam Warriors. Both teams got off to a good start, and the takeover came out clicking on all cylinders in the second half and ran away with a 76 51 victory, led by their point guard and floor general Trey Wood, who controlled the tempo and finished with a game high seven assists. Trey Wood, uh, class of 2018, point guard, team takeover 14 years. In today's time, I just wanted to, look, like, as always, to get my teammates involved and just to play good defense. And just, I can score whenever I want to, I know that. And it's important for me as a point guard to go to the next level to get my credit. Coach Charles Van Gogh, take over 14U. Uh, we're always excited to be involved or participate in the DMVD uh, showcase. I think for these guys, um, eighth graders, um, it's a good opportunity for them to play against the best competition. Um, we, all, we always get up for it. Um, we're excited about it, and I think it's going to benefit them, prepare them for um, the high school um, game. The D.C. Premier 14 and under group has one of the best teams in the nation, and led by head coach Tory Farrington, this team has a plethora of talent. Tory Farrington, D.C. Premier 14 U. Well, definitely at this point in the summer, um, being in the D.M.V. Uh, the D.C. area, you know. We're lucky to have, you know, a good concentration of most of the talent, you know, in the United States, especially in the East Coast. But a lot of us, you know, you have Nike teams, Under Armour teams, Adidas teams, you know, on three different circuits. So, you know, we're traveling here in the Midwest, the West Coast, down South throughout the summer. So a lot of people, they get to hear about us, but they don't get a chance to actually see the kids play. We're like brothers, like we all stay at each other's houses. Like we're like little family. So when we come out here, it's just like, you know say, if we go out of town, you know we got each other back when we got the turn. I'm planning on winning, trying to win a national championship and win all the other tournaments they play. We try not to do it anymore. Team Takeover, founded by Keith Stevens, has a rich history dating back to its days when it was known as Triple Threat. 
and their 14U black team led by the exciting guard combination of Donovan Toley and Trey Wood is a clear indication that their organization's success should continue for years to come, as the sky's the limit for these two guards. Donovan Toley, point guard, class 2018. Trey Wood, point guard, class 2018. Yes, yeah, this year, just preparing him for high school and him giving me tips on me to shoot more and me giving him, him tips on just some job and penetrating me. We've been dreaming about playing with each other since we was eight. And like he said, he just pushed us. He pushed me to work harder, be more of a point guard than a scorer. Because we all know I can score, but he makes me a point guard like a Steve Matt, someone that just, just doesn't shoot to get his team involved. Uh, we, that's what we, we just trying. We all work in high school. We just trying to get them and teach them uh, just the fundamentals and, and push them to. Because you know, when you're 13, 12, 11, just natural talent will get you by. Now they're going against kids that all have the same talent, so they got to find ways to to affect the game. So we're just trying to teach them to play hard all the time. Don't take possessions off, and, and just get mostly get, get used to being, you know, being held accountable for their mistakes. Tom Vitoli, he's um. He's going through a learning process as far as how to play basketball at the next level. As far as um, he's um, playing AAU basketball since he was eight years old, and now he's coming into a role where he has to play high school basketball. So now he has to become more of a distributor than a shooter. So sometimes he struggles with the, with the ideal of it, but he's accepting the role, doing a good job, and you know he's got some work to do, but he's doing a heck of a job. Many of the 15 U teams which were on display at the event looked to make a significant statement as well. Jameer Moultrie, the point guard who has been on the rise since middle school and even more so after having a stellar freshman season at Bishop McNamara High School, plans on having a big summer on the AAU circuit. DMB elite Shalapi Oriola got a chance to catch up with Moultrie. Jameer Moultrie, point guard, class of 2017, Bishop McNamara. Uh, it's a great experience playing against all the competition in the area. I just hope to show off my talent. What does it mean to uh, go up against the top-notch players in this in this area, especially in this tournament? I don't really think about it. I just go out there and play. There was a lot of buzz surrounding the matchup between the DC Thunder led by Jameer Moultrie and Team Takeover led by Aaron Thompson. The gym filled quickly prior to the game, as many spectators wanted to witness firsthand such a highly anticipated matchup. Team Takeover got out to a fast start with great defensive intensity and pressure and maintained it throughout as they overwhelmed DC Thunder and came away with the victory. Uh, my biggest thing with these guys is I think is to get, you know, Chris and Aaron both played varsity, DJ's right on the, the cusp of varsity at the math and just to make these guys varsity ready. You know, teach these guys, not that their high school coaches don't, but just teach them how to play hard every day, that you got to bring the lunch trail every day. And you know, these three guys got targets on their back. Everybody wanna go at them, everybody wanna play against them, everybody wanna beat them. So you have to rise above that. That's I think that's the biggest thing that we're doing right now with this team. Alright, my name is Cardo Dudley. Um, I'm CEO of Finest Magazine. Um, I think this showcase is good for the area. You know, it shines a light on a lot of the talent that, you know, big time that we all know about and a lot of the talent that we don't know about. Um, it's a lot of youngers I'm, I'm seeing for the first time, and they, honestly, they're pretty good. You know, they need a few things to work on, but down the road, you'll see, you know, they should be, you know, top notch. So, I mean, I all, you know, respect the DMV elite. You know, they're doing a good job of shining a light on everybody, and I just, you know, the cream of the crop, so to speak. 
DC Premier 15U squad had a tough battle on hand against the six-man Warriors. It was a hard fought game, but DC Premier came out victorious, led by their point guard, Kieran Williams. Well, I think uh, the showcase is great, you know what I'm saying, because we have enough tournaments that the kids are playing in. So I think it's a great idea by the DMV Elite, just, you know, make sure you get some games in and just see where you're at, kind of work on your stuff. And uh, I think it's great for the kids also. To end day one, DC Thunder 15U team matched up against Baltimore's finest. This time, DC Thunder came out on the winning side with a convincing victory of 54-30 led by Jermaine Moultrie's 15 points. Well, we got a lot of work to do, man, especially when that talent meet talent type thing. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? So we got to get back in the gym this week. Coach Fred, hey Coach, DC Thunder 15U. Uh, I thought today's uh, DMV Showcase uh, event was a very good event. A lot of top athletes in the area, um, you know, ranging from Virginia to Maryland to D.C. Um, and also Baltimore. I think they did a good job of getting everybody in one gym. Uh, a lot of guys had opportunity to compete against guys that they don't normally see during their regular school year in their school teams, but able to see each other on the circuit. Um, this is probably one of the first events that we had this season um, that kind of got all the local teams together. Um, so it was good to see a lot of good competition, uh, a lot of future uh, college uh, ball players here today. Um, thought it was a very good event. As day one of the DMB Elite Super Team Showcase came to a close, many teams had made a name for themselves and many players had generated a lot of buzz. Coming into day two, the FBCG Dynamic Disciples were looking to make a statement in their matchup with Team Takeover's Orange Team. <laughs> The game was competitive early on as both teams had their moments. Dewan Clayton, who scored 18 points and dished out four assists. Dewan Clayton, point guard, go to St. John's College High School, 2016. I mean, my coaches told me to come out and be aggressive from the start, got to the middle, look for others, score, do whatever, play hard. For the tournament, I just want to go hard against the other, my peers, and other DMV talent, and the rest of the summer, just pick up some offers, show coaches what I can do. My name is Darren McClinton. I coach the 16U Team Takeover, Karan Butler. Uh, we've been doing the DMV Elite events for, for a few years now. This is great, man. We get all the top players, all the top teams from the area. We get them in the same venue and playing hard and competing against each other. And that's what, that's what it's all about. Uh, I love this, these events. I love, you know, my players, they get a chance to work hard and, and go against some of their peers. And, and it's a great exposure for everybody. Yeah, I, I, I really appreciate y'all having me. Uh, y'all been very good, running very clean uh, events every year and, and, and looking forward to coming back in the future many times. 
The next game showcased the DC Blue Devils matching up against Team Born Ready out of Brooklyn, New York, sponsored by Indiana Pacers guard Lance Stevenson. The Blue Devils were certainly no stranger when it comes to playing teams based in New York were coming off two close losses the previous week, one to New Heights which has been ranked as the top 16U AAU team by 5 Star Basketball. Blue Devils got off to a fast start on this day against the Brooklyn based team though, and although Born Ready put up a good fight, it wasn't enough to pass the Blue Devils who were led by Markel Fultz's 15 points. Markel Fultz, class 2016, DC Blue Devils. How good we can play, how talented our team is, and uh, how talented I am. Kevin Williams, DC Blue Devils, 16 U head coach. Uh, I think it's a great thing. I think this tournament's a great thing. It's a showcase event that's going to showcase a lot of our talent in the area. Um, and it's a measuring stick for, for what it takes to you know, be great in this area against these guys. Going into this tournament, we're just trying to play our, play our brand of basketball. Um, our biggest thing is you know, playing hard the entire game. And I think so far we've shown that, but we have a lot of work to do still. On day two, the match of the day looked to be just as competitive as the match of the day was on day one as a standing room only audience was on hand to witness the DC Thunder battle against Team Takeover's black team. The game featured a matchup of two high major point guards, Anthony Cowan of the DC Thunder and Randall Brody of Team Takeover. The game was highly competitive right from the tip, with both teams focused and executing with precision on both ends. The game's coaches were also locked in as well as Zach Suber and Corey Alexander tried to counteract one another's adjustments all game long. Suber's Thunder squad escaped with a narrow 53-50 win over Alexander's takeover squad. And the Thunder was led by point guard Anthony Cowan who rose to the occasion and put up 21 big points while Kellen Taylor also chipped in with 13 of his own. Uh, Anthony Cowan, class 2016, I go to St. John's College High School. Uh, we definitely had to be men in this game. Uh, I think that's the best way to describe it. We had to be men and we had to pull it out. Uh, it was a lot of adversity during the game. We was down by 10. Everybody started talking, then, but we fought back to the end and we wasn't we were determined not to lose, so we pulled out the win. Uh, I'm Calvin Taylor, class 2016. I go with the Matthew High School. Uh, it took a lot of hard work, dedication, uh, a lot of clutch shots, and then we had to rebound. Uh, just great coaching and great teamwork. After pulling out a nail biter against Team Takeover, the DC Thunder had to quickly refocus because up next for them was the resilient DC Blue Devils team looking to prove something.
This game saw the Blue Devils jump out to an early lead, which further fuels the argument that they should be in the discussion when talking about the top teams in the area. Once again though, Anthony Calvin was instrumental in helping his team edge out another close victory, this time getting scoring help from Jamar Watson as the Thunder was on the winning side of the 53-52 contest. Of all the matchups on day two, the atmosphere quickly grew in anticipation of Team Takeover's matchup against Baltimore's finest. Team Takeover, a Nike EYBL team loaded with high major prospects, looked to make a statement, especially with many of their former players on hand, most notably Orlando Magic guard Victor Oladipo. Takeover showed why it has the national recognition it has, as it simply outmatched the Baltimore team led by their dynamic guard play. After two days of highly competitive basketball, it's safe to say that the Super Team Showcase was a success. And once again, the DMV has shown that it is rich with basketball talent and people who are passionate about the game and love to support the players in this area. One can only anticipate what next year's showcase will bring as I'm certain the best of the best will again convene in the DMV to claim bragging rights.